This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. From WFAA.com, in what could be the biggest hit to employment in North Texas in several years, MetLife is getting out of the mortgage origination business. The decision leaves more than 800 workers in Irving out of a job, victims of the housing crisis. Of the 1,400 employees at the MetLife Home Loans office in Irving, the company says about 860 will lose their jobs. MetLife notified the city late Tuesday. For those workers in the Irving office, MetLife says non-sales employees losing jobs will get 60 days notice, and all workers are eligible for severance. KHOU.com reports from Angleton. Ten Angleton High School students were arrested on campus Wednesday morning during an undercover drug sting by Angleton Independent School District Police and Brazoria County Sheriff's Department. Angleton Independent School District Superintendent Dr. Patricia Montgomery said two former students were also arrested off campus in connection with the investigation. Montgomery said that an undercover officer had been posing as a student at the school since the beginning of this year. Investigators said each of the 12 suspects sold drugs, primarily marijuana and prescription medication, to the undercover officers. They will face charges ranging from delivery of a controlled substance to delivery of marijuana, as well as mandatory expulsion hearings with the district. The Associated Press reports from San Antonio, a woman accused of falsely accusing a boyfriend of rape leading to the man's murder, has been sentenced to eight years in prison after pleading no contest to robbery in a plea deal. Melissa Ann Ramos was originally charged with manslaughter in the June 2007 shooting death of Nathan Ramirez. The 23-year-old woman's attorneys had asked for probation. The San Antonio Express News reports she is the third of four people to be sentenced in the Ramirez slaying. Forty-year prison terms have been assessed convicted trigger man John McBurnett and Ramos' other boyfriend, James Clay Kelly, who was convicted of arranging the killing. Still to be sentenced is John Bubba Rodriguez, who testified against the others. If you would like the latest Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on YouTube. Simply search Gene Key or SkyServe News. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.